story of, of Jack actually began um, uh, in, in 2018 uh, while we were pregnant. Um, we found out uh, that we were pregnant with twin boys. Uh, my, my grandfather was a twin um, and I was very, very close to him. And he told everyone that we were going to have twins. He told from the age of 16 to 17, anytime we talk, he'd always say, hey, it's my grandson, he's going he's gonna to have twins. So for the first 30 to 45 minutes of our scan, that's initially we were just like pops right, you know, we're having twins. Um, the, they, they came back in uh, to the room and uh, they told us that uh, we needed to go see our doctor. And they sort of said, look, we've called your doctor on your behalf. Um, you know, you need to go now. And we were told that uh, Jack, you know, would only survive, you know, a, a couple of hours to a couple of weeks. Um, Lil was, um, you know, she was so brave during the pregnancy, um, you know, to ask a woman to carry two babies and, and know that she's going to um, lose one, you know. You can't possibly, you can't possibly put uh, a name on that sort of courage. Um, and um, so the boys were, were born on uh, April 19, 2019, uh, on Good Friday. We got 13 beautiful hours with Jack. For um, so the boys' names were not born. We named them Oliver and Jack. And um, we just had to wait till Oliver was strong enough to come out of hospital. And then we uh, we moved into Hummingbird House on Easter Sunday. You know, from, from the from the minute that we walked in, like we'd already sort of been there and felt it, but from the minute we walked in, we just felt so much love from the staff at Hummingbird House. Uh, we arrived late in the afternoon. It was just so special. I always say that the greatest gift that Hummingbird House gave us was time. It's, um, you know, as, as a grieving parent, that's the greatest, greatest gift. You have time, you've got time to grieve the loss of our little boy and, and time to create memories that you otherwise would not have been able to do. Um, you know, even like I look back on, on the funeral, we, we actually held Jack's funeral on the roof of that Hummingbird House. And, you know, I don't, I don't know how we would have, how we would have sort of got, got around to organising it if Alan hadn't been there with us side by side, just the whole time, just facilitating a meeting with our funeral director and, and just just little snippets of things which I look back now three three years on and I just go, oh, man, that was that was amazing that we thought of that and that was amazing. just just little things that when you're suffering the shock that you're suffering of, of losing a child that you just can't fathom or can't think of. So um, we're just so very grateful for, for everything the facility did in that period, for all of the support they provided to everyone. We both both sets of our parents. Um, obviously to my Oma at the time, to our children, to all my brothers and sister, to Lil's brothers and sisters. Um, you know, they, they supported everyone during it and they've continued to support support us over the last three and a half years. So um, we're very, very, very appreciative.